I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. I couldn't have done it without you. You give me too much credit. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You're right, Lana. Now's the time. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? The Republic has won me over. Of course. And as a former hero of the Empire, you could easily sabotage them from the inside. It's unlikely you'll fight the Empire openly, but are you comfortable with betraying your former allies? Or killing them? I'll support you either way, so please consider carefully. The Empire is my past, but the Republic is my future. Of course. Republic SIS has been trying to recruit you for ages, but I kept turning them down. I'll contact them shortly. They'll be in touch soon. You'd love the Corellian Sector. Best Starshine surprise on Nar Shadda. First round is on me. You finally made it! Could you bring me another K3? Wait, make that... two. Well, if it isn't my traitor friend... Welcome to the party. Keep your voice down. Relax. You're among friends. Half the patrons are SIS. Jonas Balker, Republic SIS. Can't blame you for abandoning the imps, but it was a bit of a surprise. If it were up to me, we'd welcome you with open arms. Unfortunately, you'll have to keep up appearances and support the Empire. Put up the pretense, so they won't even see me coming. Exactly. You've built up more contacts in the Empire than a dozen of our best field agents. With war on the horizon, the imps are desperate for medical supplies, fuel, and raw resources. We just have to beat them to it. While you're at it, be sure to make some disparaging remarks about the Empire. With a face like yours, the imps will be drinking in every word. If I'm facing Republic forces, I can't guarantee there won't be collateral damage. Unfortunately, it comes with the territory. Just do what you can to keep the damage to a minimum, when the imps aren't looking, at least. Tensions are rising on the planet Osis. With the help of your alliance, the Republic could gain the upper hand. We're still working out the details, so I'll be in touch once you're back on Odessan. This meeting will be our little secret. K3, you're right on time. That one's all yours. My friend was just leaving. See you around, Commander. Greetings, Commander. I am Moff Paladin, Overseer of the Sith Empire's 22nd Assault Fleet. It is a tremendous honor to speak with a Sith Lord of your power and stature, as always. Your past deeds as the Empire's wrath are truly inspirational. That you have risen to the leadership of such an influential galactic faction is only fitting. I hope to strengthen the bond of friendship between your alliance and the Empire. I don't need to hear about myself. Tell me what you want or stop wasting my time. A small Imperial strike team is currently engaged in a covert operation on the ancient Jedi world of Osus. I am hoping that you can provide them with some assistance. What kind of assistance? 
The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council, Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. While Malora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina, she has little of Asina's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Malora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. Melora. I believe I had dealings with her on Korriban long ago. Ah, good. Then you'll already be one step ahead. I helped her undermine her superior, and I'm not sure that debt was ever fully repaid. This would seem an opportune time to collect. As a member of the Dark Council, Melora is beyond my influence. But someone like yourself, an outsider whose allegiance is greatly valued, you could accomplish much that I cannot. I can investigate the situation. What is the strike team's mission on Osus? The Jedi have established a secret colony on the planet. We believe they're using it to train and ready themselves for war. The Jedi's numbers are already low. If this training compound can be destroyed, we will be at an inarguable advantage when full-scale hostilities begin. This seems straightforward enough. Why are you so sure Darth Melora will fail? I do not believe she will fail. Her power is not in question. I only fear the cost of that victory. I will forward all of my available data on Melora and the operation. Your assistance will no doubt ensure the mission's success. I am certain that Empress Asina will be most appreciative. Thank you for your time, Commander. I shall look forward to word of your triumph. Glory to the Empire. We'll see about that, Moth. I would recommend that you travel to Osus alone. We wouldn't want Malora or her troops to see this as a show of force, or confuse her with unexpected allies. Translation? Definitely don't take the former Republic spy, or anyone else they might be inclined to shoot on sight. It is important to make a good first impression. Great. We're back on the haircut. I'll see that a shuttle is prepared for you. May the Force serve you well, Commander. No sudden moves, if you please. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? It's clear that you've grown since our last encounter. How long has it been? If you've come here to profit by some long-in-the-past debt, you're going to be sorely disappointed. This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot.
Why don't you tell me more about what's happening here, Major? Our odds of success are going up by the second, that's what. Now that you're here, we might get some real work done. Let's buckle down, huh? Objective is to trash the Republic colony, take out all the Jedi we can find. We've got troops ready, willing, and able. Does her Sithly eminence send us to do that? Or does she hold us all back while she works on her little science project? Science project? Geonosians. Mutated, turbocharged, psycho Geonosians. They're killers, she got that much right. They just don't care who they're killing, imp or rep. Buggy freaks clipped one of my boys, Brax, while he was out on patrol. No comms and he hasn't made it back. Dead or alive, his gear's got info that could give away our position. Can't risk that. I was just about to go looking for him. Care to join? I'd be happy to help, Major. Just point the way. Great. I'm ready to go whenever you are, Commander. Tell me about the new Dark Council. Still works more or less the same way, just less seats. The twelve organizations got merged into five. Still got one Sith on top of each of them. They run the Empire day to day and report to Empress Asina. Been pretty stable since it was reformed. They're not all as quirky as Melora either. Some good heads in there, like Krobos. All right, nothing here. Let's keep moving. What do you think of Empress Asina? Smart, patient, worth following. She's kept you and the Alliance on board, so you must not feel too different. Still, a bit hard to believe the old Emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? So, you know, thanks for saving the galaxy and everyone I ever loved. Anyway, nothing on the scanner. We can keep moving. Are non-human military officers common now? Getting there? I'm one of the first to get a rank like this, but the numbers are getting better every day. I had a bit of a head start. When I was a slave, I was running ops for my old master. Made his actual troops furious. He was a colonel in the infantry. Special forces. Every mission he gave me, I ran circles around all his fancy officers. Got me a commission the minute they changed the rules. What happened to your master? Crusty old Slimo's dead. Good riddance. Not picking up anything here. Let's move on. I should contact the Alliance. Our forces could finish this in a matter of hours. I'll bet they would. Uh, but we can't risk long-range comms. Jedi might pick it up. They hear a message like that, they'll clear out before we can do any real damage. Sure would be nice to see a real assault force, though. I'm told the war with Sakul was costly. What is the status of the Imperial military? Nowhere near the numbers we had in the old days. Just not enough materials and fuel and food to make it happen. Still a few steps ahead of the Republic, at least. We can thank Asina for that. She managed to rebuild a lot of warships without Sakul knowing. Is that what Moff Pyron was up to? You'll have to ask him. Blast. Still nothing. You know, I'm having a thought. Melora loaded the first wave of mutants on a shuttle, planning to drop them near the colony. They broke loose, shuttle went down, big surprise. It didn't go down far from here. We get the sensors on that bird working, we can scan a lot further. This is it. <clears throat> Background radiation has the scanner all twisted up. This might take a few minutes. A few very exciting minutes, apparently. Let them come. Still in one piece, Sergeant? Not quite, Major, but close enough. Thanks for the save. Thank you both. Pardon, it's been a long day, but... Are you... Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Aw, little Braxy doesn't think he's worthy of a celebrity rescue. Such a weird day. Honoured to meet you, Commander. You did well to survive alone against so many of those creatures. Knock it off! You make the poor boy blush! Braxy is probably my top scout. We'd be in a real mess without him. Hey, probably. So impress me, why don't you? Well, as a matter of fact, you know anything about a stealth supply drop coming in today? Nothing on the schedule. 
You saw one come in? I did. Landed near here. Was on my way there when the bugs pinned me down. Only thing you're on your way to is a Bacta tank. We'll check out the supply drop site. You up for a bit more action, Commander? What kind of supplies are you expecting? Wasn't expecting any. It's probably more lab toys for Melora. But maybe we'll luck out. Wouldn't mind some new gear. Either way, we best find it before the Jedi do. Your ride's on its way, Brax. We'll see you back in camp. Much obliged. Can you open it? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. My authorization code won't cut it. Gonna have to be Melora. Speaking of, we should try to convince her to let us make a play for the Jedi's farming data. If the Jedi could grow food here, they could grow it anywhere. We nab their data and wipe their computers, that could be us instead. We grow more food, we feed more soldiers, we win more battles. Huge advantage. Our mission is to wipe out the Jedi. If we forget that or lose focus, we put this operation at risk. Trees instead of forest. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's call in a speeder, get this thing back to camp. order any supply drop. I don't like this. Not one bit. It's a trick. Another distraction. Something sent by a rival. Someone trying to undermine the operation. I won't fall for it. That's possible, but the risk seems very low. Why ignore something that could help? Why risk anything when we're so close to our goal? No, no, no one is touching this pod. Your super soldiers are out of control. A minor setback that I have already overcome. I have formulated a mutative virus that will alter the Geonosians' olfactory membranes and adrenal cortices, making them susceptible to pheromone interventions. We need only infect the Geonosian queen and her six broodmates with my custom viral strains. That will spread the changes throughout their population. Of course, accessing the Queen's chambers will be a challenge. Suicidal, even, if her three bodyguard drones aren't killed first. <gasps> no! I impossible! You died! I am Darth Malgus. I speak with the full power of the Sith Empire, and I am in command now. You. I wasn't expecting you to be a part of this operation. I trust you share our goal. The complete eradication of all Jedi on this planet. Yes, but I destroyed your uprising, defeated you in battle. I have a hard time believing that none of that matters to you. You have proven your strength. Beyond that, our past dealings are irrelevant. Too much time has been wasted already. We will begin by blinding and silencing our enemy. Who is the ranking military officer? Here, my lord. Major Anri. All Jedi communications and sensors must be jammed before we attack. Take as many soldiers as you need to complete this task. I'll only need one person to get that job done. Commander, would you be so kind? Let's get this operation back on track. Ready when you are, Commander. You've returned. I'll handle this, Major. Can you give us a moment? Yeah. I'll just be over there, watching for other Jedi. So it was you jamming our communications. I've imagined this day, but somehow this feels much more ordinary. 
It's been too long, Jaysa. Yes. If I'd known you'd returned, I would have contacted you sooner. When you left, I felt a terrible sense of emptiness. I couldn't reach you through the Force. You simply... vanished. I was adrift. Neither Jedi nor Sith. All of my former allies and confidants were lost in the chaos of war. Eventually, I met another light-leaning Sith. I was convinced the Force had guided me to her, but it was all a trap. People like her give Sith a bad name. The fault is mine, Master. I was weak and let down my defenses. I spent a year running from Sith agents, hiding in the Outer Rim. It was there that I heard of Master Nostral and his fascination with the Sith. He advocated for balance in the Force, so I offered him my knowledge of the Sith in exchange for asylum. The Master agreed and brought me to Osis. He offered me a chance to redeem myself and one day rejoin the Jedi Order. Only you could convince someone like Nos Jural to be your tutor. He's a brilliant historian, and his theories about the Force go beyond anything I'd ever imagined. I'd like to join you in your fight alongside the Empire. Of course, honor forbids me from fighting against my allies today, but I won't aid them either. I'm no longer an Imperial. I command an alliance of specialists and Force users from across the galaxy. An alliance? So you found a way to unite Jedi and Sith after all? I would love to see it for myself. I'd be honored, Jaysa. Truly, the honor is mine. I'll get off-world and contact your Alliance. Find me again when all this is over. If you face Master Nostral, take care. He may be a formidable enemy, but I owe him my life. Looks like you can shut their senses down from there. I'm gonna do a quick sweep. See if you can't find a copy of their farming data while you're at it. Data received. This is going to make a huge difference to people across the Republic. Great job. Are we set? Raven to nest. Job's done. Enemy is dark. Excellent. All units are prepared. We have traced the bulk of the Jedi to an ancient library. That is our objective. Coordinates received. We'll meet you there. For the Empire. The library. The whole reason I accepted this pitiful assignment. You survived. I never would have made the Dark Council if a little shove were enough to kill me. What's so special about the library? Knowledge. Research and documentation of long-forgotten techniques gathered from both the Sith and the Jedi. Well, not to worry. I won't stand in your way. Complete the mission. I will simply pick over the remains for what I seek. If you aren't going back to the Empire, what are you going to do? Lie low. Continue my research as best I can. Why should you care? My Alliance could use your knowledge. I think you and Dr. Ogorov would get along well. Hmm, an intriguing offer. Unexpected, but intriguing. I'll consider it. Get on with your work, but know this. Empress Sassina may have Malgus on a leash. But that does not make her the only one who can pull it. Strange lady, that one. Any luck with the farming data? None. If they have records, they aren't here. Blast. Could have fed an awful lot of troops. All right, time to hit the library. Commander, Major Anri. What's your plan? Not a plan, a proposition. You came to Osus to aid our mission. As the galaxy marches to war, you fight to see our empire triumph over its ancient enemies. Together, you and I can strike the first blow in that battle. We will find the leader of these Jedi, Nost Dural, and defeat him. We will show the galaxy that no Jedi can stand against our combined might. Just as the Republic cannot stand against the combined might of the Empire and your Alliance. I will help you defeat the Jedi, but I will not help you slaughter every last one of them. You may fight your way, but I will show no mercy. 
Major, take the rest of the troops and sweep the building. Eradicate all who oppose you. We will do the same. Jedi Master Nos Dural. Darth Malgus, alive and well. This explains the sudden shift to more aggressive tactics against us. And you must be the commander of the Alliance. Ultimate destroyer of the Sith Emperor. A story I would have loved to document. A pity that two such influential leaders would waste their potential by traveling here just to burn some old books and kill an old man. No one has to die here. Surrender. History will not remember me as the one who surrendered to evil without a fight. Let's find out if you can live up to your respective legends. So be it, Jedi. Let's begin. We are all shaped by the choices of our past. Nostral is a master of mind tricks. Do not let yourself be deceived. The power of the dark side is a lie. Our story isn't over yet. Derak, Van Zalo, Noman Carr, Darth Barras, Tenebrae. It seems I'll be meeting my fate in distinguished company. Left to me, this library will be your grave, Jedi. But your fate is in the Commander's hands. This Jedi knows everything there is to know about our enemies. He's much more valuable alive very shrewd. He will educate us in ways he never imagined. Take him away. Have the other surviving troops rally outside. Right away, my lord. Bombers, they're attacking the camp. Major, all troops, return to base at once.
our losses, Major. Bad. Very bad, my lord. Too many to count. Not to mention gear, supplies, our fighter escorts. It's gonna be hard to hold this position. Then these troops will work hard. We have won a great victory today. We will not be chased from this world so soon. Major, see that Nostural is transported to the holding facility at Viking Space Dock. Aye, my lord. Commander, thank you for everything. It's been a real honor. Likewise, Major. I hope we can work together again someday. Fine by me. All this fighting's easy with you around. So long. My lord, incoming broadcast from Empress Asina. Malgus, I'm told you have a rather intriguing gift for me. Indeed, Empress. A Jedi Master, Nos Dural. Their order's historian, with vast knowledge of both Jedi and Republic operations. A worthy prize. Though I've learned of another. One of equal value to the war ahead. Though it appears to have escaped your notice, the Jedi successfully raised numerous crops on that dead planet. Whatever techniques they applied there could have been seized and applied to generate plentiful food for our troops in this time of severe shortages. Unfortunate that you could not secure such valuable data. Our soldiers tend to win more battles when they're sure of their next meal. And what of the remaining Jedi, Empress? Our ships have detected shuttles evacuating in droves. They will intercept as many as possible, and we will leave a meager force to protect against further incursions. Your mission on Osus is over. Return to me at once, so that we may prepare you for your next assignment. Commander, your assistance is, as always, deeply appreciated. The Sith Empire is made stronger by its ties to your alliance. Our renewed war against the Republic has only just begun, but I am certain that you will become our greatest asset in the battles to come. Farewell. I must prepare to depart immediately. I can't understand why you're willing to be another one of Asina's servants. You should hope that you never do. Today, we began a war, one that I have already fought twice. Twice our empire has set the galaxy ablaze. Twice we have tried to burn away the hypocrisies and weaknesses of the Republic and their Jedi. Twice we have failed. We must not fail again, Commander, for there is precious little tinder left to keep our fire burning. Farewell. We seem to have everyone. Status reports. Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since Osus. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. It's good to know we're still so popular. I suppose that's one way of looking at it.
We seem to have everyone. Status reports. Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since Osis. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. The next time you find a spy, I want them caught. Understood? Of course, Commander. My assets have brought in solid intel from all of the major battles along the front lines. I'll keep forwarding everything to Baywan for analysis. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessa. There's, uh, one other matter we should discuss, now that you're aligned with the Empire again. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm proud to have worked under your command. We've made the galaxy a better place. But I'm also proud of my past. I served the Republic for years. I can't fight them. So, I'm retiring. I've recommended a replacement, Commodore Pardax. Ex-Imperial. Very sharp. She'll serve you well. Lana's already vetted her, and I'll stick around long enough to get her up to speed. You've been a huge help to our Alliance, Baywan. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for taking a chance on me. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo? We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word's spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Me and the crew have been running one of the old Thranta Corvettes. We're patrolling the route between here and Sakul. It's bad over there. Some of the city spires have closed themselves off completely. Others are actually taking shots at each other. And those gangsters from the Exchange? They're moving in all over the place. Nearly half the provisional government is tied to them somehow. I know they want to go their own way. But Sakul is my home. It's home for a lot of our people. I think we should try to help. How do you think we could help them? The most important thing is to get the Exchange out of there. The Knights are practically non-existent now. There's no law. I know it's not our place to go after them on Zakul, so let's go after them before they get there. Give me three extra ships, and we'll intercept any Exchange members we find headed for Zakul. Without any muscle or bribes to back them up, they'll crumble. Sounds like a good plan. The ships are yours, Koth. Thank you. Gonna enjoy taking those scumbags down. Sana Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Voss, so I believe we're finished. That's all I have. Good work, everyone. There was one final matter for you. Lord Izar, a representative of the Imperial Outreach Division, has asked to speak with you. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to admit, it's weird fighting against the Republic. Probably should have seen a day like this coming. Somehow, I just never did. I get it. They've never once had your back over the years. Suresh brought out the worst in them. Even so, I need to know you're in this to win a war, not to crush my old home into dust. I can do better than that. What do you mean? I'm going to help the Republic win from inside the Empire. I'm a double agent. You're sure that's a road you want to walk down? I mean, you saw how it went for me. Don't get me wrong, I'm behind you all the way. I just hope you're ready. Does Lana know? She does. No one else, though. My lips are sealed. Well, I better get out of here and act casual. I'll see you later. Greetings, Commander. So good of you to contact me. How can I help you, exactly? I serve within the Imperial Outreach Division. Specifically, I seek out opportunities to inspire greatness among our noble frontline soldiers. Darth Krovos is giving a speech to our forces gathered at Viking Space Dock in preparation for their deployment. This could be an opportunity to say a few words of your own. Your actions have made you a living legend, after all. Certainty of victory inspires confidence. 
Hearing that you are out there fighting the same fright they are will undoubtedly instill that confidence in our troops. Fine, but this had better be fast. Oh, even a handful of words from a decorated hero such as yourself will carry great weight. We shall await your arrival with bated breath. Safe travels. Jonas, are you aware of this rally for Imperial troops on Viking space dock? I've heard about it. Sounds like a great opportunity for you to shake their confidence a bit. No need to risk your cover or anything. Just get them to second guess whether they can win, and stress will do the rest. Let me know if they have decent drinks. I might just sneak in myself. Perfect timing, Commander. Darth Krovos is just finishing up. Follow me. I can sense the strength in each and every one of you, the passion for victory, and the power to achieve it. At the muzzles of your blasters, at the points of your blades, our ancient enemies shall finally be destroyed for the Empire! We meet again. Zasha and her family send their regards. With your alliance fighting alongside the Empire, victory is within our grasp. Congratulations on joining the Dark Council. Thank you. I hope to serve our Empire as ably as you have. They're all yours. Together! We are marching back to war, to fight the Republic, to win. We all know this isn't the first time. We've all had friends or family who have marched this same path and never returned. We've spilled a lot of blood trying to beat the Republic over the years, lost many lives. But I look at all of you and I see soldiers Warriors who won't let any of those losses slow them down. We can't give up now. We won't. Empire! 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 Uh, th thank you, Commander. To your ships and to victory! Uh, thank you for your time, Commander. Very, very enlightening. Let's just step this way. Nice job. Especially that ending. Wow. They definitely did not leave full of confidence. Well done. The shuttle pilot told me Odessan was a formidable base, but it's even more impressive in person. Jedi and Sith working side by side. It's... It's surreal. I'd like to speak plainly, Master. Perhaps there's somewhere more suitable for that sort of conversation? That can be arranged. Once again, I find myself in your debt. Master Nostaral may have been captured, but he lives because of you. I am grateful for my time on Osis, but I'm glad to be back. Together, you and I can put an end to war, create lasting peace. I'm looking forward to it, Jason. Thanks. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come to Osis. I was never meant to be a Jedi. Master, I must be straight with you. Even before I met you, I've struggled with one tenet of the Jedi Code. The restrictions on love. I understood it logically. Romance made fools of people, and a Jedi must be willing to sacrifice any individual for the greater good. And yet the way I feel when I think about you, it's... exhilarating. It's so much stronger than the bond between Master and Apprentice. 
How could it be wrong? Jason? When you were gone, I completely lost my center. I had to shut myself off from my power or I'd constantly be searching for you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I love you more than my own life. Maybe I'm just a fool after all. You aren't the only one, Jasa. I love you too. This is more than I'd ever hoped for. I can't believe after all this time that you feel the same way. Finally, I've found a home. I'll be here for you whenever you need me.